God forbid, if you get hit by a car, then your hand's gonna go this way or this way because this is completely free. Your hand is free. This thing is really dangerous. So that is why. Hello everyone, this is Amanda Suri from Toronto Drivers and in this video I'm going to show you how to turn your steering wheel properly. This is a very important video for a new driver. Even though you're not a new driver, you can learn a lot of things from this video. Hey, I'm shooting it on a rainy day so sorry if you hear the rain in the background. So before I tell you how to turn the steering wheel, let me tell you how to hold the steering wheel. Now there's different ways people hold the steering wheel. The first method is 10-2. So you pretend that this is a clock and you put your hand in the 10 position and the 2 position and you drive like that. Now this used to be a recommended method until some time ago. However, um, when they looked at the stats, they, they learned that, you know, a lot of people broke their arms when the airba airbag inflated. So that is why they have started recommending 9-3, which is 9 o'clock and 3 o'clock, because there's a lot of room for the airbag to inflate and it doesn't hit your head. So your hands are not in the way when the airbag inflates. So this is now the recommended method and this is what I use to teach my students. Now a lot of people drive their car with their hand in this position. Now I understand this position when you're driving a manual car because you need to have the other hand on the gear to be able to shift it. However, if you do it for more than a few seconds, then it can be really dangerous. If you're driving like this for a long time, then God forbid, if you get hit by a car, then your hand's gonna go this way or this way because this is completely free. Your hand is free. It's, there's nothing stopping your car from turning. And imagine if you're going fast and you'd end up turning like this, you're gonna go 360 degrees or more. You're gonna make a lot of turns. So that this thing is really dangerous. So that is why, you know, I recommend having both the hands on the wheel because you have a balance. You know, let's say this hand misbehaves and goes this way, then this hand is there to correct it. And the same goes for this hand. So they both watch out for each other. Now, I've also seen a lot of people hold the steering wheel like this. Now, this is also not a recommended method. You don't want to go below 9-3, hold it like this. This is an absolute no-no for a driving test and otherwise also because, you know, your hand gets restricted here. It gets locked. It doesn't go beyond this point. And same goes for this one. It doesn't go beyond this. So, you know, it's not really safe to drive this way. So let me now show you how to turn the steering wheel. So there are three different ways of turning the steering wheel. The first one is hand over hand. So you basically go hand over hand. So this one is going over this one. So you turn it like this. And uh, the other method is this way. You know, this is called feeding the hand or the push and pull method. And the third method is steering like this with one hand. Now, a good driver is a master of all these three methods because depending on the situation, you'll have to use one of these methods. Now, my, my personal favorite method is the hand over hand. This is what I would recommend using 90% of the times. When you're driving, use this. If you're a new driver, use this method. You can never go wrong. Now, there's a lot of videos and a lot of people uh, used to tell me that hand over hand is not acceptable on the drive test. Well, I've never had any of my students fail for doing this because this is what I used to teach and no one ever complained about uh, my student not steering the right way. So hand over hand is very much acceptable, at least in Canada. I don't know. I've heard stories that in the UK, they don't accept hand over hand. Now, the reason I think they don't accept that is because, you know, some people go like this. So they steer the wrong way. So they lock themselves up and this is really dangerous. So you, you got to know how to do hand over hand. But if you do it the right way, then the hand over hand method is the best method out of all the three methods. It is safe and it's fast. And I'm also going to show you how to make perfect left and right turns using this method. Now, I've seen a lot of people put their hand inside the wheel like this and do the hand over hand like this. Now, this is not a safe method for two reasons. One, you can lock your arm and break your wrist like this. And two, 
if you're a woman, then you know, you, if you have a wheel like this, then you can hurt your nails, you can break your nails by putting your hand like this. So it's always good to have your hand on the top and go like this. Keep it on the top and turn like this. Now earlier in this video, I told you that a good driver is a master of all the three methods. So where do you use the other two methods? Now let's talk about feeding the hand. So feeding the hand is used for wide turns. Now let's say you're making a wide left turn. This is how much you would need to turn the wheel like this. Now, if you're making a wide right turn, you would need to hold the wheel like this. That's it. And as I said earlier, I will be making a video on how to turn left and right. So make sure you hit the subscribe button to get a notification about that video. Now, where do you use this method? Now, this method is useful when you're reversing. When reversing, you can put one hand on the back of the seat like this and use the other hand to steer the wheel. So that's that about how to turn the steering wheel. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, then you know what to do. Crush that like button. Thank you very much, and I'll see you again next Friday.